Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to go over a little bit of a new product that I got. Uh, it is for a big bike, but I've seen people use it on smaller bikes like the LaFon and other stuff that actually has a seat in the back. Uh, and this was all spawned because I don't know if you've watched the videos before, but I've done two road trips so far, both to the left or to the west of Houston. And uh, it's on the SV650, so I got to ride about three days or so on a motorcycle. And uh, there's a little bit of a complication when it comes to riding three days on a motorcycle and you want to pack light. So the first thing that I did, and the second time I went, I used a tail bag. And, and here's the tail bag that I used. Uh, I got it for super cheap off of Amazon. It's not the greatest. It kind of looks like a dilapidated muffin, if you ask me. It, it's nothing, anything super special. Uh, it does expand quite a bit in the middle so that you can fit stuff in here. And I can fit like some pants, shirt, underwear, stuff like that. But the problem that I was having is that I was also putting my camera equipment in here. With the camera equipment being strapped to the bike, every time we stopped to get gas or went to a restaurant or something, I didn't want to have to take the, the tank bag off. I mean the tank bag off. The, the tail bag off and then lug it back in and then strap it all back together again. It was a pain in the butt. So I decided that I'll continue to use this right here, but then what I'll do is put the camera equipment in a tank bag. And that's what I bought, a tank bag. People ask me, well, why don't you just use a backpack? Uh, I don't know if you've ever ridden on a motorcycle for several hours or a ruckus or a scooter or anything with a backpack with clothes and camera equipment on it for a while. Your back starts to hurt pretty bad after a while riding on open roads uh, with the wind blowing against you and you got a big back, uh, backpack on your back weighing you down while you're sitting on this stationary seat that you can't really do much on. Um, so I got a tank bag and here is that tank bag. So here it is. It literally just came in at Amazon on, uh, on next day delivery and we're gonna go ahead and open it and see what it looks like. Since I don't have a knife, we're gonna use a screwdriver. And it's not gonna be as big as I thought it was gonna be. Hopefully I'll be able to get a few things in here, but here, here's the tank bag right here. Uh, the idea for the tank bag is that it fits over the tank comfortably in front of you. And <laughs> this is a giant Ziploc bag. like this and then you can use it as a backpack well, it's got like backpack strings it's not as big as i thought it would be so let's take a look there's a map pack and a bunch of pockets and stuff you know what let me get a different lens and then we can get a little bit closer with uh, all the features of this bag so to start, it looks like there's two hook points in the front and it loops through the bottom. Although there's other strap points towards the backs right here and here. So you could, I guess, put this on your back like a backpack if you wanted to. Uh, I don't see myself doing that. Uh, across the bottom, there's a strap of some sort that you can buckle to. There, this is a very thick matted rubber and there's niobium magnets off to the side right here that are supposed to grab the tank really well. And that has yet to be proven. Uh, there's a handle on the top, which we can see the stitching here looks really well. It is a Chase Harper bag and it is also made in the USA. Uh, across the top, you have a zipper pocket right here that, oh, it goes into this netted area down here. If you can see that. Uh, pretty, pretty good space. I guess you could slide a phone or something there if you wanted to. Or some quick grab equipment, a wallet maybe. Put your watch in here, whatever. Uh, and then you have a bungee system across the front where you can, I guess, if you have something you could strap it underneath here or something uh like a water bottle perhaps that might be kind of neat to have up at the front of the bike if you need it i don't know you're gonna drink it with a helmet on uh like i said there's two strap points here 
There's two zippers here. And when we open the two zippers, there we go. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You get a welcome kit. I don't know. Oh, this is the, for that additional strap on the bottom and some kind of padding. We'll have to find out what this is for right here, but there is a strap and padding inside of here. Uh, on the inside of the bag, it is red. The sidewalls are pretty thick and rigid. Uh, that was my complaint with my tail bag is it wasn't rigid and it didn't stand up very well. Uh, there is a key point here. So put some keys or something that you want on here. A little bungee clip here. A Velcro top pocket that goes all the way to the front. Uh, and it's neoprene, actually. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Uh, it's not as big as I thought it would be, but this should be able to carry my camera equipment and my other stuff that's valuable, and I don't leave it in my tank bag. Uh, there is also a map piece, I guess, for a physical map. I guess when you ride a motorcycle, I haven't ridden long enough to know that I need a, a printout map of the area for documentation, but I guess, well, I'll try it this time the next time I go around. I do like this bungee water bottle or whatever, because um, this is gonna go right in front of me. I believe this is the front side. Uh, I like this little quick pocket. I could put my wallet or something in here so I could see it, or my phone. Well, actually, my phone's gonna be on my mount, so that's cool. Uh, there is, again, like I said, a pocket, a longer pocket across the front. And let's take a look at some of the quality of this um, tank bag. I don't know if you can see it, but it's double stitched all the way up on the seams here. If you look at the zippers, they seem to be stitched really well. There's double stitch. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, these zippers are what every zipper is, YKK. They look like they're made of stainless. Can't tell, but they do. Oh, there's an example of the double stitch. A single stitch is great, but a double stitch is even better across there. If you look at the tank grabs, there you go. That's a pretty good stitch in there. It's gonna stay and not rip easily. I don't know if this camera will show it, but that's kind of like, it feels like bed liner on the bottom over here. It already got it dirty from putting it on the garage floor. And again, made in the USA. The interior material is neoprene and it's also double stitched on the edges. Uh, if you look, there is a an edge inside of here, kind of like it's rolled over to protect uh, against uh, splitting. If it was sewn together, it would split. And on the inside, it looks really well made. I'm pretty impressed. I am pretty impressed. Quick note, I figured out what this buckle is, and this is obviously the backside. So this buckle goes to this strap, and it goes to this right here, because you loop this around your neck of your handlebar or the front of the handlebar, and this is the safety. So if the magnets fail, it doesn't fly off your bike. So let's go see what this looks like on the bike. I went ahead and took off the backpack strap. All right, so here's the tank. So I guess I'll put it on like this. Oh, golly. Look at this magnet. Ugh. Gotta stretch it out a little bit. Holy cow. So there's the tank bag. I gotta be careful because it'll hit my cell phone mount. So be careful where you put the magnets on the ground so it doesn't put dirt on your bike. I guess you have to play a little bit to get it to line up well. But there you go. Let's sit on it. So on my third gen SV650, look, I can ride and it's right in front of me. And it's not that bad. I mean, it's wasted space anyway that I'm not doing anything anyway. I guess I do have to pull it off whenever I do uh, a gas fill up or something like that. But I mean, there you go. I can go, oops, I need this. I can go, oops, I need this. 
if I have something right here, like a water bottle or something, I could grab it. Uh, I technically could open it if I needed to, and it opens in the right direction, which is thankful. Then I got my key. Oh, okay, so it's designed pretty well. Now, it's not the biggest. I thought it was gonna be much larger than that, but I'm glad it's this size because I should be able to fit a camera and a couple of lenses and then my my um, expensive equipment, I guess you could say, inside of here. So I can leave my clothes on the tank bag because really if they steal my clothes, who wants to, who really wants to have my dirty underwear? And then uh, take this with me in there. And at the same time, if I can take the tank bag, then I can just leave the, the helmet outside to this helmet lock that I put on here. So in the end, that turned out really good. I, I like the way it looks. Uh, it's not too big. It's not out of the way large that's in my face. It might block some wind from hitting my chest. The pockets are really accessible. The stitching is excellent, like it's gonna last a while. And those magnets are strong. They'll hold on to the thing. I mean, I, I wonder if I, you know, God forbid a crash, it'd fly off. I think it's gonna do what I need it to do and lighten the load of my tail bag so I can fit more sundries and stuff inside of there. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for this product. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll also leave a link in the description for you to purchase this bag if you like it. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.